opportunity because of how well your kids performed in the class uh, and they come up with a victory today on the field. What does that say about your team overall? Well, it says a lot. I think college athletics are about the student athletes and sometimes uh, maybe just the record on the playing field or the basketball court can sometimes be recognized, but often the, the performance in the classroom doesn't get recognized. This is a unique situation of what, what happened, and, and we get recognized because of both. Uh, you know, we got five wins, and so we were hovering there, uh, and we were we, we had a chance, but the APR is, is why we got kicked. And, and I think it's great, and, and, and I think it's very uh, ironic that we're playing a bowl game that's about the bigger picture, because what we did was about the bigger picture, academics and athletic success, and so we're in a bowl game that's a philanthropic type of bowl game, and uh, to be a part of it was very special, and I'm uh, just proud of our guys, the way they came, the way they represented San Jose State here in Orlando, and how they represented our university on the field tonight. Coach, with, um, with Simon being directly affected by his mother's uh, and with uh, other players who I'm sure have been affected in one way or the other by cancer, does coming to this bowl and winning mean something even more than just winning any bowl game? I would think so. Uh, the t after uh, Mr. Blameyer announced to the team at our banquet that we uh, were selected by the Automation Cure Bowl, uh, we had a meeting Tuesday, our first get-together, and I, I asked the players to raise their hand if any, how many people on our team have been affected by a cancer family member, every, nearly every hand went up. And it wasn't surprising because I know how it affects a lot of people. And I also, I talked with the players about what's the purpose of this game. The purpose is to raise awareness of cancer, breast cancer in particular. The purpose is to, is to help contribute towards a cure. And then I talked about two players on our team who they know. I didn't need to really share it, but I repeated it. And both were actually gone. Simon was taking the final. And Michael was back in Atlanta for the Home Depot Award for the Ray Guy Award. And uh, talked about their case, a situation, and their mother, and how, how close to home that is. And so I think our guys, they got it. The theme throughout, ever since we were, that meeting in particular throughout, has been this is a great goal opportunity to go out and play and represent San Jose State uh, and for a great cause and to be a part of it's very special. It's, it's very fitting with, with where our team is and what some of our players have personally been through. But uh, I'm very thankful for this opportunity to be here. First, the game, the game itself, you had a couple of chances in the first half that maybe the main Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, sometimes as a coach you get concerned, you, you, you make big plays and you move the ball slow, but you don't punch it in. And, and I thought that uh, we, we had a couple of nice drives, but we didn't come off the field with the touchdowns that we wanted. Uh, we came off with a field goal, and then the uh, Hail Mary, half, the, uh, the, the first Hail Mary that we threw, get the touchdown, there's elation on the sideline, everyone's excited, and it gets called back. And that's just such a, a downer, we thought we could have gone up. Uh, I think 17-7 at that point. And, but nevertheless, uh, we went in at halftime and I told the guys, we've got to finish these drives. We've got to come off the field with points. Uh, defense, they're going to keep throwing the seams. We've got to do a good job defending that. The quarterback is doing a nice job throwing the seam route to the tight end. And uh, we've got to get pressure on the quarterback. And, and I think our guys really responded in the second half. Uh, defense played stellar football. Uh, throughout the whole game. I think there was one double move uh, that they made in the first half for their touchdown. But uh, all in all, I think we played really good. So uh, I, I was encouraged. Special teams, I told the guys going to this game, the big thing oftentimes in bowl games, what's the difference? Fundamentals, because they can they can be lost when there's a, a big gap from your last regular season game to your to your bowl game. But also special teams can be a big difference with all that, that we call hidden yardage in the kicking game. And I think Tyler's... Uh, a punt return for a touchdown is very fitting, uh, capping off an outstanding career as, a, as an all-around football player, but a return specialist as well. Yeah, Coach, there seems to be something about bowl games in Orlando. You came, you played, you won, you're leaving. All four teams that are in the playoff this year played here within the last four years. Florida State played here four years ago, won the championship the year after. What does this do for you with the young team next year setting you up to go forward? I like where you're going with that. Uh, that sounds really good. Uh, playing in Orlando and having some great seasons. Uh, no, I agree. We, we do have a young team. Uh, 
there's four senior starters that we have. We started four sophomores on our offensive line. They're all coming back, and uh, I'm really excited moving forward. Kenny will be back. Uh, Christian will be back. We'll certainly miss our all-time leading rusher. Uh, but I feel like we've had two really good recruiting classes the last two years that we can uh, build upon. So uh, I, I'm really excited moving forward, and it's, it's, it's so nice uh, when you get a bowl victory. It, it uh, sends momentum into your recruiting. It's, it, it, got us uh, another 10 practices with our young players, scrimmage opportunities for our young players. Uh, just all in all, it'll, it'll springboard us forward into 2016, which is uh, something we're very much looking forward to. Your, your team had a pretty highly rated pass defense coming into the game, but still seemed to need to make some changes against this pass offense. What, why did you feel those, those adjustments needed to be made? Well, I think that our, our pass coverage, pass defense has been very good, as you mentioned. And we just felt like uh, this quarterback just does a, uh, did a, a Nick Arbuckle a tremendous job picking apart defenses when you give him time. And, and uh, he throws accurate, catchable passes. He's got great touch, which we saw in the Bills, particularly their four-game winning streak the last, the last month or so. So we felt we needed to get pressure on him early, even at the, you know, sometimes when you put pressure, you roll the dice a little because you're, corners and your, 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 your defenders are in man-to-man -man coverage often, but uh, we did a great job, uh, job. We talked about wanting to win one for Greg Robinson. I told the team I wanted them to carry him off the field after this game. Let's get the win and, and do so, and, and all in all, it, uh, it's, uh, it is home for me because Greg, uh, Greg recruited me to college, and, uh, and that was life-changing uh, for me. I met my wife uh, in college, and uh, we have three sons, and, and now I got to hire her two years ago to be our defensive coordinator. We, so over a span of 30 years on the front end of my college experience and on the back end, Greg and I got to be together and, uh, you know, really bittersweet to see him go. Thankful for all he's done, but happy he's got uh, some great time with his grand, grandchildren and uh, with his family. With the charitable approach that the Cure Bowl is taking and the success of it, uh, do you feel that it's going to create a trend in bowl games moving forward on the next year? I think so. You're getting something there. Is uh, you know a lot of the bowl games. Um, this is unique. The theme is a philanthropic type approach to uh, profit uh, going towards a, a great cause, and so I, I think it really it touches everyone. And I couldn't help but notice during the game so many of the scoreboard ads were personal lives that were affected. And uh, to be a part of this, to be a part of the inaugural thing is, is very special. And uh, we'll always have great memories, uh, you know, based because of the outcome, but really the experience. Uh, the goal is an experience uh, four days that uh, we'll, we'll live on uh, with our players and our coaches and our staff for a long time. Uh, Coach, your season could have ended at five and seven. Instead, you know, you get a six win, you get a postseason win. Um, how much better does it feel now than when you thought your season ended? Uh, it feels great. You know, it, we, we wanted to win that last regular season game, and, and, and it didn't go our way. We really thought our season was done. And, and uh, when, when Gene, Mr. Uh, Mr. Blameyer, and I talked that uh, there's a chance, you know, there's a chance that, that uh, there won't be enough six-win teams. I got hope, but I was cautiously uh, optimistic about it because I uh, didn't know if, for sure if it would happen. And, uh, you know, I'm sure things happened. and. Uh, came around where we were invited to come to this bowl and very uh, thankful and for a chance to, to compete one more time with our seniors and as a team and, and to get that win. And so there's nothing like it, getting a win in the last game to, to, to bounce you forward into the next season. Okay, thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you.